Hello and welcome my giant sharktopus, it's Super John Bombo here, and today I have some super duper fantastic news for you guys. Not only are we going to play Random Trio Play With Fire, we've almost broke a million medallions, and the biggest news of them all, Bloons TD Battle Steam is about to be released. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, what we're going to expect out of that game, and all that fun stuff. So we're going to hop in here to uh, uh, hop in here to some random trio play with fire, but there's also this weird little monkey thing. I don't know what the heck that is. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So we're going to see if it's something special, like you get to ban people's towers, or if it's just nothing, or if I just have completely missed that forever and it doesn't do anything. That's you know, all totally possible. So Balloons TD Battle Steam, it is coming out in approximately 10 hours from when this video is released. So um, it's kind of weird based on how exactly it's supposed to get released and what time it's actually getting released. For me, it's 8 in the morning on uh, uh, 420, believe it or not, on April 20th. So that's kind of fun, I guess. And... Um... Oh god, look at this. We got ice and... <laughs> ice glue monkey village. Let's do it. I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for it. Let's try it out. It's always fun to try these weird ones. We're gonna have to do an ice tower start, mix in some uh, more ice, or even just pop in a glue gunner eventually. So we're gonna go... Wah, cha -cha -cha. Go straight up for a 1-0. Come on, go, go, go. Come on, little buddy. We need you. We need you. We need you. So this is a... What is this? This is a random trio play with fire. So that means every balloon I send out against myself, um, or every balloon I send out against him is gonna come out back at me as well. So like I said, with the Steam version, what can you expect? Is it going to be extremely different? Not really. It's going to be mostly the same thing as Bloons TD Battle Mobile that we're used to. Um, I have, uh, I, I don't have any extra special information for you guys that, like, you know, like, bonus information. All I know is that I, I've seen Ninja Kiwi post some stuff on Twitter, and then I tried to download it on Steam, and it said, oh, it's going to be allowed in 16 hours. I'm like, all right, that makes sense. Um, I can't really say that the game is going to be too much different. I think it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing as BTV Battles uh, uh, Mobile that you're used to. Uh, but there might be some new game modes. I'm not sure if they're going to add a few more game modes in there. Maybe they're going to update it a little bit more. I know that they uh, they probably will keep Steam updated slightly more than uh, mobile. They like to you know update the newest games that they, they just came out with. So that's definitely a possibility. But other than that, I don't think it's much different. I think that you're probably going to be able to do the exact same things as mobile, and you're probably going to be able to play mobile people as well. Now, as far as hotkeys go and stuff, I don't know what they're going to do with this. This is something that I really want, really want to delve into uh, uh, fairly soon. But I'm guessing that they are probably not going to use hotkeys because they don't want to have people... Uh, have a huge advantage over mobile people because you don't have hotkeys on mobile. And what are hotkeys? Well, you guys should know what they are by now. But they're basically using um, keyboard buttons where you can press Q for a dart monkey or uh, you know Y for a cannon, and then you can build the cannon slightly faster by using those hotkeys. All right, so I am going pretty darn hardcore with these things right now. We're gonna go for a third snap freeze. Now I'm doing a pretty good job overall at killing all of these balloons. I'm actually a bit surprised at how good this is going, but we're not gonna survive for much longer unless I get a glue gunner. But we're also gonna need a monkey village for level uh, 12 anyway. So I'm thinking of going for a monkey village first. But I don't want to waste all of my money over here and then realize that I don't have a high enough eco to afford all this stuff for round 12s. Uh, for round 12. So it's gonna be a little rough, man. It's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a lot rough. A lot rough. So, of course, I'm going to delve into this. I promise I will get a bunch of videos up for you guys tomorrow of BTD Battle Steam. Talk about all the differences, all the fun stuff, and all that cool stuff that you guys want to see. So here we go. We need the Monkey Village. I'm going to pop my Glue Gunner down over here now. And we're going to put him on strong. Get him up to 2-1. I have to get a 2-2, two -two, though. So let's see. Ooh, he's got... Ooh, he's going to go for some Regrow Whites over here. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm actually going to use my Battle Energy over here. Not sure if I really need it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Hopefully we get enough ice pops over here. I'm actually a bit surprised that... Oh, he's got the Regrow Whites coming out against him as well. So I'm actually going to go for the Glue Hose, though. I'm going to keep him on first now. And we're going to get... Oh, goodness gracious. Look at these ice towers, man. We're going to get another one of these guys. We're going to get another one of these guys with Enhanced Freeze over here as well. I'm, gonna get, I'm just going to get them up both to snap freezes. I just want to make sure, no matter what, they're always snap freezing. Even though they're slightly more expensive, I want to make sure I can get the snap freeze action going. So this guy's got a 0-1 monkey village already, but will he be able to afford a 0-2 in time? Probably. Probably. I know he spent a little bit more money on those uh, 
uh, uh, regrow whites than me. So, I mean, that's going to cause some little bit of issues. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to... I'm not going to get my camera detection on my monkey village until he starts rushing me with those balloons. Instead, what I'm going to do is make sure to rush with a bunch of grouped whites right here. Because his glue gunners, I'm not even sure what they are. I'm not sure if they're strong. Oh, they are... Okay, at least one of... Oh, there it is. We see the camo balloons coming out. I'm going to pop my radar scanner down here. And that's going to be enough to stop this. This is actually surprisingly... An interesting game right here. You wouldn't expect it to be as interesting it is as it is right now. So I'm going hardcore pinks. He's got ice shards as well. That's a very interesting tower. I'm not sure if I should get that. I'm thinking my better bet is probably just to save up, sell everything, go for an Arctic Wind. Arctic Wind and a Glue Gunner combo is a really, really good one. But the sad thing is the Moabs, no matter pretty much what we do, are going to be almost extremely, unbelievably deadly. So I'm probably going to have to balloon energy a Moab and just hope that it ends up killing this guy ends up killing this guy. So we see some balloons coming out against us right now. I'm actually going to use my battle energy here. I don't think they're going to cause any issues, but um, you just can't be too sure. Rather be safe than sorry, though, for sure. So we're going to put the Arctic, we're going to make sure just it's in range of the monkey village. But I kind of want it like lower down here because all the uh, scent balloons are coming from the top. So we're going to sell this guy, sell this guy, one, two, three. We get an Arctic wind already, and we're going to sell all this other crap. So now, if he does rush me with a Moab, I have this weird possibility of maybe surviving if I get a 4-2 Monkey Village. One of the weirdest things ever, but I think it might be possible. The only sad thing is, is there's a lot of Zebra Balloons trying to sneak through over here right now. He's got to glue them uh, while still in the range of the Arctic Wind to make sure that we can actually do enough damage to, to pop all these guys. It looks like, yep, in the range of the Arctic Wind, no big deal, we can take these guys down. So it looks like I am going to go for this uh, left-sided Monkey Village over here. Um... Here's a monkey tunnel where we're going to get more money for popping all these guys. I don't know if I should do a mob as well, but it's only 12 grand. I could sell this guy and easily afford it, I think. I think, I think, I think. By the time the mob comes out and everything, it's going to be rough. So we're going to try, though. I'm going to do a... Oh, he's going to try and use a 2-4 uh, ice tower over there, isn't he? All right. Interesting. Very interesting, indeed. All right. Basically, as expected, he's going to go for the uh, thingamabob. I'm going to put the energy beacon over here, get him on strong, get the arctic wind back, hopefully. Use the road spikes. Come on, it's all glued, and it looks like we will survive! And he's still having trouble trying to kill the moab that he sent out against himself. Yes, and we have the arctic wind back up in action with the 4-2 uh, monkey build. Now, he's going to try and get it as well. Wait, he sold everything? What is he doing? I, that doesn't hurt moab. That, that was a terrible move right there. <laughs> Ah, he almost had the monkey village too, but now he is going to end up losing this game. Can you believe that we killed a Moab with monkey village, ice, and glue? One of the most amazing games that I've ever played in my entire life. Holy crap, down to eight lives, and the Moab has snuck on through. Whoop, 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 whoop. Take that, man. Suck on that big fat lollipop right there. That was an intense game for sure. And we have done it! We have broken one million medallions! Believe it or not, that's the first time ever that I've ever broken a million medallions. So that's kind of exciting right there. Whew, man! Today has just been a good day so far. So, I have one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about, um, besides BTD Steam. Again, I, I really can't tell you too much about it, because it's not really out yet. Uh, it's, you'll probably be able to play with people on BTD5 Mobile. It's probably going to be the you know, through Facebook or through Game Center or through something else. Maybe it'll make it slightly easier uh, with some other weird way to match to, to match make with your friends. I hope that there's like a connect through Steam button or something because I think that would be way easier. Because uh, I don't really like connecting with Facebook all that much because Facebook is kind of stupid and, and you have to use like your real name and like they don't let me use a fan page. So yeah, that I mean that's kind of lame for me. But if they do have something like that, that would be really really awesome for me. And then uh, hopefully we can pop in here and uh, uh, play some games pretty soon. Maybe I'll even play with you guys more on uh, my live streams and stuff. I know when I stream through mobile on my live streams, it really, really sucks. So I can play through the Steam version. That would be so much better. I can easily play with you guys and have a good time. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about today. All right, so uh, my praying mantids have hatched. So if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm a pretty big... Uh, I love science. I really love science, especially biology, raising animals. Um, I did uh, some videos on toads last year, or toads and or 
toads, toad poles, tadpoles, bullfrogs. All of that nonsense. And I had a really, really good time doing it. And this year I was like, hey, let's have some fun. Let's do something similar. So I wanted to uh, raise something. And I was like, what's the easiest thing to do? How about praying mantis? Praying mantids. Praying mantises is really praying mantids. And uh, so I bought these two egg sacks. And uh, they're really called Uthika. It's kind of a weird name, right? And they just hatched. So if you don't know how these work, I'm going to show you guys some videos and all that stuff. I actually don't have them up yet. I promise I'll tell you guys about them uh, uh, when I actually get the videos up and everything. Actually, they're uploading up to my computer right now. I just hope that... Oh my gosh, look at this. thing still hanging around, dude. Come on. Get in here, baby. Get in here. So hopefully we can find a game pretty quick because we've been like three minutes without a game so far. I know. I've been talking a lot. Talking a whole lot. But... Uh, I just saw them hatch today. Very, very interesting how they quote unquote hatch. Because you get one egg sack and you have like a hundred babies come, excuse me, out of that egg sack. And the way they come out is they don't just like, oh, they walk out and they're praying mantises. No, they like worm their way out and they're like, there's just like a bunch of worms just sitting there and then they slowly dry and like move their arms out and then they start walking around all this cool stuff. So, um,. <laughs> To me here, man. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? All right, let's do it, man. I don't care. I'm really. I guess why not? Ice glue, monkey village. The chances of that are absolutely astronomically low. But I am willing to have some fun trying. So let's do this. Ice tower over here. This is gonna be rough, though. I'm guaranteeing this is gonna be rough. So we're gonna use our road spikes down here. I'm gonna get another ice tower on the bottom left, I think. I still got, I'm gonna have some issues with the natural balloons. I'm actually, actually gonna rush this guy with some pink balloons though fairly soon. So here we go. Our second ice tower over here. And I am gonna do some red balloons. I'm not gonna go crazy with them, but I am gonna go with a few red balloons. Um, because it might go up just a little bit. There we go. We got our second snap freeze going. Finally, I know, kind of ridiculous. And he is going to balloon energy some spaced blues. I don't think that'll do anything to me. I suppose it's a possibility, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to blue energy some pinks against this bad boy. This game is not going to go late game for sure. So we're going to go for a third ice tower over here. Um, it sucks when you put them next to each other because they don't really interact too well with each other. But sometimes you just got to deal with it, man. Sometimes you just got to do it. All right, so now we're going to go hardcore pinks with blue energy. Blue energy pinks! So actually, that's maybe possibly a bad idea because I have to defend against them as well. Now that I think about it. Yes, mm, yes, all right. So we're gonna go for a quick glue gunner over here. Hopefully this is strong enough to put him on the last. Get him up to at least glue, so hopefully we get a 2-1 pretty soon. We got a corrosive glue. Now he is down more lives than us. That is very good, but still not perfect. Oh wait, no, we're tied, holy crap, we're tied. Oh God, no, we did slightly more damage than him. So now we got reds and pigs coming out against us. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna pop in another ice tower down here. Get him up to 2-0 as well. Oh, God, we're down to 21 lives. Ah, blue. No, 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 we're going to lose. No, no, we lost. No, 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 no. That was terrible. Chris, you suck. So you know what? Maybe that little tower thing up there just means that there's a certain set of towers. Multiple restricted towers. So I guess... There's a lot of restricted towers, and they restrict it so there's only glue ice monkey village allowed? Maybe that is... Uh, I don't know. That's kind of weird, but... They should tell you what's not allowed, though. I really feel like they should. <sighs> Below a million medallions now. I feel a little bit bad about that. I don't know what I did wrong. I honestly... I, I just... Like, when you're using these towers on that map... It's kind of a poop show right there. You just don't know how the heck it's going to work. And I has failed myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like when you don't feed the gremlins after 12 o'clock, man. You know what happens if you feed them. Or, or get them wet. Don't ever give them water. Give gremlins water. Mm -mm -mm. That might be before you guys' time. I'm not sure. They should come out with another gremlins movie. So we're still not finding people very easily. There's not very many people playing. Yeah, I guess there's only 64 people playing. So, I mean, that, I guess that makes sense that we're having a little bit of trouble finding somebody. Um about our skill or rank or whatever. Sometimes that can be a problem. And here we go, we find somebody. We got, oh, Nicholas D again. So we're gonna steal our medallions back this time, hopefully. Steal them back, Chris. At least break even for the day. 
And it is Ice Glue Monkey Village. Again, so obviously the restricted towers thing. They've restricted every tower but these three. Alright, so we're going to go for the Ice Tower. I'm going to try it over here. Looks like it's not going to reach over to the other side over there. That's okay, though. I'm actually going to go for a second Ice Tower over here. And maybe even go for a glue gunner on top of that. But I am going to go a lot of red balloons this time. I'm going to go a lot of blue eco. I mean, I don't really feel like doing those pinks anymore. This is not one of those levels you're probably going to lose from the pinks. Uh, it's a possibility. We might be able, we might lose from the pinks. I just don't think it's going to happen. So. Um, all right. I don't know what to, I don't know what to talk about. A bunch of ice towers. That's what we got going on right now. So do I want to go for the glue gunner? I think I might just chill with the ice towers. This time I have to remember uh, that I should be using more monkey boosts and more balloon energy. I definitely miss miss played. I guess misplayed on uh, indoor pools. I wasn't using uh, my full advantage of balloon energy and monkey boosts. I didn't use any monkey boosts until I was down to two lives or seven lives or something, and then I was just like, it was too late by then. Just got screwed over. So I'm a bit surprised that these green balloons are just walking through. Like, what the heck, man? What the heck are these green balloons doing? Just gone. Gone, baby, gone. Alright, so I can't tell. It looks like this guy's rushing us with blues as well. Um, do I want to do any other sort of weird ice tower thingamabobs? I don't know. I see. I feel like this is a bad spot, but I kind of want to put one here. I'm going to do it. Again, I feel like that's kind of a weird spot because you don't really get it. It's basically the exact opposite of what you should want to put it in. You want to put it in like a crevasse. That's like the exact opposite. That's like a parabola, man. The outside of the crevasse. So that seems like a bad spot, but I don't want to put too many ice towers too close together. That's usually a bad thing. So you gotta remember, round eight, we start getting white balloons and all that stuff. So I might be able to do some pretty... Let's, let's use the monkey boost here. It's already green balloons. Um, we'll get ours back for round eight anyways. And I'm probably gonna stop the eco fairly soon anyways. So the glue now is actually pretty cheap. Um, I don't know if you guys real... Oh, he's losing tons of lives over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's get the uh, glue soak over here. Corrosive glue. He started rushing me with uh, some black balloons mixed with green balloons and all that stuff. They're kind of dangerous. But here we go, we're gonna get 41, 42, 42, 42, 42, oh, okay, here we go, blue, blue splatter, we got him on last, let's see, it looks like he's gonna have enough for this, well, these white balloons, should I even do it, I don't know, I guess we'll do it, why the heck not, oh, he's on first, he's not, it's not strong enough, and he's gonna have some big bad boy leaks over here, we're gonna have some leaks as well, but not as bad as he is having, and I need to get that glue hose going, I need to get the glue hose going, come on, oh, we took him down with the white balloons, yeah, yeah, baby, yeah, we win our medallions right on back, and now we have over a million medallions. So technically, we had a winning record this uh, this fine evening. One million medallions. All right. So like I was telling you guys, I will have a bunch of Steam videos, at least two, maybe three Steam videos for you guys tomorrow. Um, I I think I'm gonna have a bunch of fun playing it. Um, I'll, I promise I'll show you guys those praying mantises pretty soon. Praying mantids. I keep saying praying mantises because it just, it just sounds like... Mantids just sounds weird. It's like you're changing a mantis to an ID. Why would you do that to pluralize it? I don't know. It just sounds a little bit weird. So nonetheless, thanks for watching so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button and subscribe if you haven't because you're silly if you did not do that. And have a super duper delicious day.